a rock and roll band, and uh, it, it, it's very different from a lot of the music that I've heard. Johnny Morgan Band is like a horn-infused modern rock band. Uh, there's uh, metal influences, there's jazz influences, there's funk, there's alternative. Uh, you got that singer-songwriter uh, style combined with a, a big band. The Johnny Morgan Band is a family. A coming together of musicians uh, from all backgrounds. We want to spread our music in a very beneficial way, um, not just to people's ears, but to people's hearts as well. And we really want to make an impact in music itself. Uh, we feel like we bring a lot to the table as far as just combining different genres and bringing something to the table that a lot of other groups uh, don't have. I went out to a bar one night and uh, I was watching this band. They, they were all right, they're a little rough, but I saw the bass player just ripping it up. And I'm like, I gotta play with that guy. And uh, I ended up not even introducing myself. I left and about a month later, I decided to go for an open mic night. And uh, this guy approached me, he said, uh, hey, I really like your music, I'd like to play with you. And since then, we've, uh, we've spent a lot of time trying to get this lineup right, and I think we've, we've finally got it, so I'm excited to move forward with this current lineup. I met Jeremy Adams here at a random open mic one night. Uh, we hit it off with a solid EA jam. I told him to meet me back at my place. We jammed the same EA jam again, and it was, it was beautiful. So then, right after that, he invited me to a rehearsal with Johnny, and the rest is history. King trombones are legit. I've got two matching cons. One's a 1940 Con 10M, Naked Lady, uh, and my, that's my tenor. And my alto is a 1936 uh, Con 6M prototype. My kit, I play a PDP CX-5 about like 2004 when they still made the good ones. A, a Fender Stratocaster, uh, Ibanez RG, and a Marshall something. Uh, I play on a PV Grind six-string bass uh, through a Harky 210 high drive. My baby, it's Martin HD28. I don't, I just call it, I call my baby. Babe. My babe. She always looks good and white. I don't have a name for it, but I'm, I'm going to say Leslie. The city's gone. Janice has something for everybody. Janice was, it was a really cool experience. It was very time consuming, nerve wracking. It was beautiful, it was ugly, it was awesome. I had a great time recording, and I had a great time actually writing it with all these great musicians, which was the best part of it by far. I think a lot of the production is, is done really well and it sounds really raw and it sounds like something we can actually pull off live, which is rare with, with a lot of bands this size. I don't want to short change because I think that it's a fantastic album. Uh, I really am excited about the future and uh, what we might be able to do with our next album. I, I love it. I think that a lot of people really do like it and I'm really proud of it, of everything that we've, that we've done. And uh, honestly, really excited about the next album.